Hello guys, welcome to the Black Forex Academy channel. My name is Laurent, you can call me Black. So what you're going to be looking today at is the market structure, okay? So I read your comments, what you people have been suggesting to me and all that. But what I realized after having a conversation with you guys is that most of the people don't even realize like the structure that the market is creating. Most of you guys were telling me where to enter in the market but you can't realize where to enter in the market if you don't realize the market structure. So we're going to take baby steps and eventually we might reach where to enter in the market, but first and foremost, we need to look at the market structure. What is the market structure and how can it help you in determining where to take trades or understand what's going on in the market. Without further ado, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss all the future content. Let's get into it. Now, the market structure is actually just telling you, or it's the structure that the market has that's telling you what's really going on in the market, okay? Now, there are three market structures that you can actually come across in the market, okay? So, this is the first structure that you can come across. This is the second structure that you can come across, okay? And then there's this market structure that you can come across. So this one down here, this one is a downtrend, okay? So this one here is downtrend. Here you have a consolidation or sideways. You may call it whatever you want. I like to call it consolidations because the market is not trending, okay? but you can actually trade in between these two zones. And this one, lastly, we have the uptrend. Okay, now with these three market structures, I'd advise you first and foremost to actually focus more on these downtrends, okay, and these uptrends. Um, the consolidation markets are not that the consolidation markets are not that good in trading. These ones right here, they're not that good in trading. And I'll tell you why. It's because in a consolidation market, you actually, the market is not trending, okay? And for us to be trading in the market, you need to the market to move a couple of distance, a couple of pips, a couple of, you know, a couple of spaces you need to market to move a couple of pips for you to make profit now in a consolidation market the market doesn't really evolve like that it just moves within two ranges a couple of pips maybe 20 pips and then comes down 20 pips and then comes down so that's not actually trending and it's a bad thing so in the market structure what you want is actually you want for the market to actually be moving you want the market to be trending okay so that's the first thing now Back to the main point, these are three market structures that you need to look at. Now, we're going to focus on the downtrend on the, and the uptrend. We're not going to be talking about the consolidations today, but we'll be talking about it in another video on how you can actually be trading consolidations. But today, let's focus on the downtrend and the uptrend, okay? Now, the downtrend, starting off with the downtrend, let's just move this one right here. Let's focus first on the downtrend, right? Now, how do you know that the market is in downtrend? You know that the market is in a downtrend once you see, obviously, apart from the market actually just moving in a downward, downward movement, you can actually realize that the market is moving in a downtrend by this so-called lower lows and lower highs. So, what you have to notice with the market is that if the market is creating lows that are lower than the previous low, like this low here is previous than, than is, is lower than the previous low. And this low here will be previous than this low. So that means the market is creating lowers, lows that are lower than the previous low. So that's a lower low, okay? In the higher highs or the lower highs is actually that the market is creating the highs that are low than the previous highs like this high is lower than the previous high. So the market, just by the view of it, is going downwards because it's creating lower lows and lower highs, right? 
It's just perfect sense that it's in a downtrend. Now, with that the theory or in mind, you have to understand that's what creates a downtrend. That's what creates a downtrend. Vice versa, in an uptrend, okay? So in an uptrend, what you need to focus on is that the market will be creating this sort of movement, okay? The market will be creating higher lows and higher highs is here. This was the previous low. And then this one was the next low. Now this low is higher than the previous low. And this low again is higher than the previous low. So that means this low is a higher low. And the next lower will be high low. It will be a higher low. So that means the market is moving, creating higher lows, right? And the high highs are actually this high, and then there's the next high, which is higher than the previous high. So that means this high is higher than this high. So that means the market is creating higher highs. Same applies here. This high will be higher than the previous high. So that means the market is actually creating higher highs and creating that the market is moving in an uptrend. So that's the definition of a downtrend. And this is the definition of, an, of, a, of a downtrend. And this is the definition of an uptrend, right? So that's the main difference between a downtrend and an uptrend. A downtrend, the market will be creating lower lows and an uptrend, the market will be creating higher highs, right? So those are the few basic descriptions of a downtrend and an uptrend. Now in the market, what you need to understand is that once the market or once the structure has been broken, perhaps maybe the market came here and then it created a low. And then once it breaks this previous high, what you need to wait for is actually for the market to come back, retest this low before actually pushing higher. Same applies maybe if it's in a, in a downtrend. If the market breaks this low here, this low, you need to wait for its retest before going low higher, right? So the market, that's how it creates structures like this. This is how it creates structures. So for instance, if maybe the market is in an up is in, in a downtrend and you want to know well, how do i know if this market in a downtrend has already finished and now it's in an uptrend if you want to know is that you need to look at the market structures for instance if this was the previous high right if this maybe was the previous high if you want to know if the market has broken this market structure you'll have to wait for the market to break this high right and then come back at this zone and push higher so if the market breaks here then you know that the market structure has broken this market structure has been broken and now the trend has been broken and we are moving on the opposite direction same applies if maybe the market is actually moving in an uptrend and you want to know okay how do i know that the market is has reversed and now we are in an opposite trend you know the market structure will have to be broken. Now for this instance, we'll have to be this low here, right? So that means the market will have to come down from its height, break this low, retest it, and then move on according to plan, right? So once these market structures have been broken, that's when you realize that the trend has been broken and we are now moving in an opposite direction, okay? So that's it guys, that's the video about today. Um, I just showed you guys in theory on how you can actually just be trading these market structures off. So this is a new series, market structure. I'll be dropping more content on this structure, structure videos of course, so that you guys can actually grasp the concept much, much more. This was just a recap. I'd like to know your feedback on what you'd like to know more about the market structures and if this video is good or if you have any suggestion drop them in the comment below but anyways if this video of this this video was of help to you be sure to click to give us a quick like and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you can actually be updated on future content that will be producing on the black forex academy without further ado my name is Laurent. thank you for your time peace have a great weekend